filming a what I eat in a day today. If you're new to my channel, just know that I am not about diet culture. I am not about restriction. I am all about honoring your cravings and just listening to your bod whilst having the food that you enjoy. So we're starting out with breakfast. Know that every day is different and I have quite the creative outlet when it comes to breakfast just because it is my favorite meal. Don't get me wrong, sometimes it's just the bog standard bowl of oats with loads of Biscoff spread and Biscoff biscuits. But today we are fancy schmancy, especially when showcasing you guys because I'd love to fill you guys with ideas. Now in saying that, I am gonna make a homemade chia jam raspberry swirl that I'm gonna pop into the air fryer. It's pretty simple, it only uses three ingredients, which I've made up the batter already. I'm just gonna roll it all out and create the swirls. So the three ingredients that I did use was plain flour, some protein powder, as well as some yogurt, and then I just added a bit of baking powder in there as well, just so it's able to rise. And then what I'm gonna do is just roll the dough out until it forms a triangle so that I'm able to spread my homemade chia jam on there. I really did just say a triangle when I meant a rectangle. <laughs> The jam was super easy to make. Literally just popped it in the microwave, thrown some chia seeds in with the raspberries and then made it this consistency. Now I'm gonna roll the dough up. I would usually just make it into one giant one, but I fancy having smaller ones today. And breakfast is served. I had to incorporate Biscoff in there somehow. Okay, so a little while later, and I'm in my car buckling up because we're headed for a leg day. I'm just about to go to the gym. I've actually got a little foodie date afterwards, which you'll soon find out with who. But yeah, I was debating whether I should film my workout or not, because sometimes it actually really disturbs me having to film, check the angles, see if I've got the footage right, check if anyone was in the way, and also getting in people's way as well. It's a big thing in the gym just to put yourself in front of everyone recording yourself and then they want to use the equipment yet you're taking so long anyways i could talk about this for days but let me know is it actually beneficial you watching me work out or is it not just for the sake of today i am going to record myself but i genuinely would love your opinions on influencers recording themselves working out let me know your thoughts <laughs> gym lovely session i'm actually going to meet connor kathleen and her friend elise we're going to a place called megan's i'm going to drive there now but i fancied a snack so i'm having a misfits bar because i can't wait until the food is actually ordered and then we yet start eating it's going to be like another hour and i'm a bit peckish now so we're having a bit of a snack before our brunch i'm having the hazelnut misfits bar it's not my favorite i'd say the cookies and cream was great and then also the chocolate mint is to die for and actually it's this color green so i don't know why they chosen the green packaging for the hazelnut so i'm quite intrigued to see what the actual chocolate mint wrapping is this is their new wrapper but yeah connor has flown all the way from australia to go to london but i'm sure you guys know by watching her vlogs i love connor's weekly vlogs so it's gonna be fabulous to meet her we're gonna have a great time with some great food sometimes i'm gonna have to lose has arrived i've got the cauliflower pomegranate and tahini dressing and look who's here we've got connor and her power leaves hello hey girl hey and um, we're just in megan's having food back in the car had a lovely little meal with connor and her friend elise 
I gave Connor and her girlfriend some My Vegan Snacks and then it really got me thinking about the My Vegan Snacks. If you know me, I actually keep snacks in the boot of my car. So we have this one roaming about. It's their caramel latte flavor. I know I already had a protein bar today, but technically this is a protein brownie and I felt like it, so we're having one. Just about to make dinner and I'm feeling a bit of an aubergine teriyaki style dish. I've got some Bruh. aubergine left over from my weekly food shop. So that's what I'm gonna make use of. Obviously I cook for myself and it's usually like me eating by myself unless my boyfriend comes over. I'm really struggling with this knife so I'm gonna get another one. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I usually cook a single dish um, and my meals don't tend to be like crazy meals that require loads of ingredients and it's really hard to make. They're quite simple. Um, I just basically fancy what I eat and then make it. Anything that's left over at the end of the week, I tend to make use of so it doesn't get wasted. I'm basically going to talk you through the steps of my dinner. I'm going to be making like the teriyaki sauce from scratch. Just going to wing it. I don't really know what goes into teriyaki, but here we go. I assume there's going to be some sort of oil. So we're going to use some oil for this dish. And then I'm going to add some soy sauce. I nearly set fire to the house. So the oil is just slightly a bit too hot. So I'm going to mix the ingredients. I've got the soy sauce in here, the remaining that I wanted to put in before it exploded. And then I'm going to add some sriracha. Just going to add some syrup into there as well. And I've been working with this brand on Instagram. It's called Just Spices. And actually they have really great um, spice mixes. This is the Chinese all rounder. Um, and it's just basically got a bunch of flavorings in there and it just saves a lot of time and effort to gather up the spices. So I'm gonna add that to the pan. Then I'm gonna add the aubergine, just a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna cover it over in the pan just so it allows it to steam up and simmer. I love to have something sweet after my dinners. And today I'm fancying like strawberry dipped pancakes. So I've cut up some strawberry slices and I've made up a pancake mac mixture with the My Vegan Pancake Mix. It is just my ultimate favorite. It saves a bunch of ingredients and it's just high in protein and delicious. So why would you not use it, to be honest? All I'm gonna do is dip the strawberry slice in some pancake mix and then pop it onto the pan. sticky aubergine, served with some red and white quinoa and bulgur, kale as well as some yogurt, flaked almonds and then some spices with some coriander and then my very tasteful sweet summon summon after my dinner is the strawberry dipped pancakes. You can make banana coins with these, you can also use like apples to fill the pancakes um, to like spread the pancake mixture around and then make like baked apple pancakes. That's another idea, but we have gone with the strawberry steak because that is what is in my fridge, topped with some biscoff, inevitable, and some white chocolate because actually, the thing that you should know about me is that white chocolate prioritizes milk chocolate. Am I right or am I right? And with that being said, I am gonna finish the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!